Hello. This is, uh, I guess the beginning of episode two of Pole Arms Only. Uh, I wasn't planning to start right now, but I encountered a thing. I'm just trying to get to AR-15 so I can actually do, you know, daily commissions and etc. etc. Uh, I did the Amber, uh, quest here, Wind, Courage, and Wings, and it has you go and do this, uh, domain here. This just has an interesting example of a, a, a problem that I'm going to encounter. So, obviously, only using Rosaria. Uh, you do get Amber as a trial character in this. However, oh, I have to go through the beginning part again. Yes, Amber, I know. Um, basically there's a part in here which wants you to use Amber as a trial character. Um, if you don't have her in the party already. And the intention is just to shoot the hilly trail, and then I think a gate opens up, if I recall correctly. But, uh, you know, I don't have a character that can really reach the hilly trail. There's a few solutions to this. Um, one I'm going to try here, I, I went and charged up Rosario's burst. There's a chance that her burst might have enough of a AoE that I can reach the enemy, but anyways, uh, we'll go through this, oh, I was supposed to jump out. Uh, we'll go through this domain quickly, um, and then I will show you the, the problem I had. So you can see it gives me Amber here. Um, Oh yes, it's down here, I think. Um, so right down here, there's a gate. And a little hilly trail there. So, I believe the intention is, you know, shoot the hilly trail, go through, go through the gate, and you're, you're off to the races. Um, because, but, you know, this, this dude is, don't shoot me. This dude is just kind of standing there menacingly. And, uh, I, oh, I could get over there before. There we go, okay. So, the closest I can get is right here. So, this is what I was talking about where there's... Ah, oh, don't dive in... No, I lost my first. Uh. <laughs> Why, Rosaria? Why would you do that? No, freaking dang it. I, I, I clicked there by accident. Or, I jumped there. Um, semi by accident. It was actually... Because uh, I just wanted to demonstrate that, you know, I could jump up and, like, use uh, Zhao's E, theoretically, to get over to the enemy and kill it. Uh... What I wanted to try was I wanted to try using Rosari's burst to see if it would reach like the barrels. I don't think it was going to. So I placed the burst down right here. I don't think it does damage like on the, with the vertical height um, uh, above where the like the AOE is. And I don't even know if it no, get get out of here. Uh, if it would reach range wise. So can I get over oh, to the ledge? Thank you. So <laughs> why did you have to dive in the freaking water, Rosari? Uh, I did try to like glitch through here a little bit, but it doesn't seem particularly feasible. Uh, and you can't climb in this domain, so there's nothing nothing I can do to like climb over. No weird Breath of the Wild tricks I can do to just <laughs> catapult myself over. That I'm aware of at least. Uh, maybe there is something. But anyways, yeah, this is a just an example of one. I'm, for now, I'm just going to you know not do it. And uh, stop shooting me. And yeah, that's. That's kind of just a good example of one that I might have to do with Amber if it restricts me from like uh, completing other quests. But like right now, I don't think this quest is required to complete anything, uh, unless Amber is you know stuck in this quest and therefore I have to do this quest for, to be able to do another quest or something. But even then, um, I'll just not do it. Right, uh, worst case scenario. Uh, another option might be, I think Jean Lang, her her power tornado, her burst might have enough range to, you know, standing on that corner on the on the fence that I was standing on before. I think her burst might have enough range to just uh, attack it as well. Uh, the other problem is I'm not sure what there is after that point in the domain. I could look it up, but I, I think it's more fun to just do it as a, as I come to it. But yeah, so this this is going to have to wait. I also got ten ten more standard wishes uh, here. Those were from, uh, I think, as you reach event to rank 10, you apparently get 10 more. I didn't even realize that. So I figure I may as well do these right now. And obviously, you're hoping for you know, another polearm character. Uh, probably won't be a polearm character, but we'll see. Uh, a bow. A bow. Very nice. A spear. Okay. And look, the Widzit. The Widzit is one of the best four-star weapons in the game. And completely useless for me. So very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So, we got a black tassel. That's what we got from those ten, <laughs> ten wishes. <laughs> oh, lovely. I found another problem that probably requires Zhao to solve. So, 
I mean, this might not, theoretically, I could get away with not doing this, but um, so this domain here, I believe, which I don't even think even if I could do the things, I think I can't even do it till rank 15, but yeah, this, so this domain has the weapon enhancement materials, um, and which, you know, might be important. <laughs> uh, and I believe it requires, you know, getting all the sealies over here um, into the post. And you can see I got three of the four. And you just have to, like, fight some enemies or whatever. Then this last one, uh, you can get into this. And I thought you could just get into it. Um, but even if you do, I think you need to come on, go over here. Uh, even if you do get to, into this, the sealy does not move. Oh, frick. <laughs> Uh, the simulator doesn't move, and I don't think that would help anything because I'm pretty sure you need to trigger all the posts, uh, the animo posts anyways, to be able to unlock the domain. So that's a little bit of a problem, because uh, that means I will not be able to level up any weapons that use the materials in this domain, unless we get Zhao. <laughs> so this might be the stupidest reason to ever have to go to a, go and pull for a five star but I might need to get Jao just so I can get this domain open um if 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 uh yeah oh Sealy can you please leave no yeah um I did try there was like a little windy hilly churl mage person I tried to see if they could trigger it but unfortunately, they cannot trigger this post. The, the tornadoes just got like stuck outside of the wind here. So yeah, I, I literally think it's impossible unless you have an animal character, which is only Zhao for pole arms. So that's great. Um, yeah, I, I hope we get Zhao. Well, I found one more problem um, doing the commissions for the day. I unlock commissions. Doing the, the good old creepy Albert commission where you clean up leaves for him. Uh, and I uh, can't clean these up because you need animo. So, yet another thing I need Jow for, apparently. Yeah. I might be able to go. I don't have co op unlocked yet, but I might be able to go into someone else's world to do a commission, be able to get the daily commission. That's kind of kind of kind of unfortunate that this one pops up because I can't. You know, I'm losing half of the half of the potential primo gems you can get today just because I can't do this one commission. So. Maybe I'll be able to unlock co-op, and that won't be a uh, much of a problem if I just you know go do someone else's commission. But it's it's an annoyance, that's for sure. All right, so I'm doing this uh, quest here in, at the Daupa Gorge. Um, so this one over here required Cryo, which I had Rosaria for. This one requires Electro, and this one requires Pyro. Uh, the Pyro one we'll get with Jean Lang. Um, this one, though, requires Raiden Shogun. That's something I wanted to test with. So we've got this Electro Archer here. I think, oh, there's two of them. Uh, I think we might be able to have him shoot it. No, it doesn't work. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Uh, I'll try it again just to make sure. What if I, what if I stand on it? No, that didn't work, okay. Uh, no, that went over my head, okay. Uh, well, this is not gonna work. Shoot, that's not good. Now, um, stop. Hmm. Well, yeah, that definitely hits it and it doesn't activate it. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um, I was hoping that would work because I've, I've, I had a couple of fire slimes that were able to trigger pyro pillars. Um, Actually no, they weren't. They weren't. Didn't trigger pyro pillars. They triggered. Uh, they just made the made a chest burn down with the vines around it. Anyways, um, that's unfortunate. So yeah, this one is a little problematic because the only way to solve that then and do that quest is if you have Raiden Shogun. So uh, it's gonna be a while. Um, Another issue that I also encountered that would require Raiden Shogun, wrong menu here. Uh, this one, this is a Lisa's quest, the Lost Book. So you have to go to uh, this uh, this domain over here. And um, inside of that, there is a, a sequence that requires you to attack with Electro to be able to progress through it. Um, and then another problem I also encountered is, uh, which I mentioned previously, was this Amber quest right here, the Raptor's Hideout here. 
Uh, that one, well, I should be able to solve the enemy problem. Uh, I actually can't go into co-op when that one is open. Um, so I imagine I won't be able to co-op, do co-op with this uh, Lisa quest open either. So yeah, I think co-op is probably just not going to be a thing, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and my, my suspicion was what might happen in the future. There might be quests that, uh, like, progressing the main story, the main Archon quest, might require completing a story quest that I cannot complete. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens uh, for now. I'm just not going to do them. Uh, it's unfortunate I was doing these because I wanted to try to get the adventure XP. Obviously, the Primo gems and whatnot is nice as well. But if I can't do them, I can't do them. So, oh well. Figured uh, I'd record a little bit of a combat with Rosaria here. Um, also because doing this line here could give me an AR-15, which I believe is when I can uh, level up uh, or ascend Rosaria past level 20 and all that. Uh, and then, of course, uh, I think co-op, well, co-op I think it might be level 16, but anyways, um, you can see I'm doing okay damage with Rosaria. And this is, of course, at level world level zero, but... There's not really anything I'm having problems with in combat thus far, other than, you know, cryo slimes, anything with a shield that's annoying, so I basically just have to brute force it, but, um, other than hydro, hydro abyss mages are perfectly easy to deal with. Um, let's go get AR-15 here, look at that, yay! It's like we immediately get a bunch of quests, lovely. Uh, what is this? I don't even know what that is, okay. Uh, so anyways, um... I think this is probably a good opportunity. Let's go see. I don't remember what the reward is for rank 15. Um, we're going to send uh, Rosaria, though, here. Get the reward from our, the adventure rank upgrade. Uh, then I wanted to. I figured I'd end off episode 2 here with just uh, going over the different Volarm characters and discussing their their usefulness to the to the to the count uh, with, with Polarm only. Okay, yeah, I get the Ascension material for the Traveler. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Oh, co-op, yeah, co-op is level 16, so that'll let me complete commissions on annoying days like today where I have, you know, this stupid Albert commission. So let's go send Rosario real quick. Uh, da -da. Hmm, just what I nice needed. little attack upgrade. Oh, she sends with attack percent, that's nice. And then uh, we can claim the wish here. Look at that. Yay. Free wishes. Uh, I'm going to send the Traveler because I, yeah, I have the materials for it. To, uh, obviously not going to use the Traveler, but it's worth it for the free wishes. I'll, I'll probably send most characters I get to level 20 at least. Because um, we won't be leveling up many characters, so we shouldn't end up having an excess of EXP material, so that won't really matter. Uh, let's, can, we, can we enhance the weapon as well? Uh, nope, because we need this. Does this open yet? Not discovered. Uh, oh yeah, it's in leeway. Okay, never mind. So, let's just go level up Rosaria. Let's see, that's, I don't think that's enough to get to... Nope. We'll just use them all anyways. And may as well use these. I have a lot of these because I was doing a bunch of ley lines, by the way. Uh, obviously, some are from exploration as well. And there we go. Okay. Level 40. Uh, did that increase world level? It did not. What is... Uh, from level 20, it increases. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the next goal will be to get to rank 20 and get John Ling, uh, as I mentioned before. Um... And John Lang will be very useful for a lot of things. In particular, I can start doing, you know, like Dragon Spine and all the pyro puzzles in the world and uh, things like that. Amber Quest, I think, will be doable with with uh, with uh, John Ling, which is good. Uh, John Ling is probably the most important character. Um, yeah, let's just go into the character archive quick here. Uh, we'll filter to pole arm. Um, just wanted to go over some of the characters here so obviously there's only four or four stars we'll go over these super quick uh, so Rosaria we have she's gonna be our main DPS for a while um, maybe the entirety of the series I have no idea uh, Jean Ling will be the 
next character we'll get, of course, uh, and she's going to be very important as well, uh, which for, for the obvious reasons. Uh, Toma and Yunjin, so I don't know a lot about how either of their kits work. I haven't really used them. Um, I know Toma does have a shield, um, so he's at least useful for that. Uh, and then, of course, Pyro Zenons would be not too bad to have um, with, with John Ling. And then uh, Yunjin, so I believe she's another support, and I believe she mainly buffs normal attacks, if I recall. Can I look at her talents? Oh, I can. Good. Uh, so, yes, when normal attack damage, bonus damage will be dealt based on Yunjin's defense, yes. Uh, and then what is this? Dealing Geo damage, uh, damage absorption. Da -da -da. Right, cool. Yeah, so Yunjin would be quite useful. It's just, you know, a buff to normal attack damage, which obviously I'm doing a lot of right now with Rosaria, but until Yunjin shows up on a banner, there's probably not a very high chance of getting her. Same thing with Toma. And of course we got the five stars. So Shenha uh, is probably uh, of the of the five five star polearm characters. Shenha is probably the least useful one since she's mostly just like a cryo buffer. Uh, it wouldn't be bad to get her, but definitely not needed for any particular reason. Um, but then the the other four are much more important. So Hu Tao is just you know a pyro DPS character. If she comes along for a rerun, um, we will probably of her, uh, but it also depends on you know how many fates we have at that point. Um, she's obviously strong, uh, but uh, we won't really need Pyro for anything else uh, in the overworld because we'll have John Ling. Uh, Zhao, I've mentioned a couple times in this video already, uh, definitely need Zhao because he's the only Animo polearm character. Uh, and of course there's no Hydro polearm characters by the way, which is going to be problematic, but I don't think there's too many Hydro puzzles in the world, so not the end of the world uh, to not have hydro i believe but uh, but anyways yeah zhao is would be very useful for exploration uh obviously needed to unlock a domain apparently which <laughs> so i can level up uh, weapons in the future um among being obviously a, a good dps character the biggest problem with zhao uh, is also a problem with you know using all only pole arms in general is uh, Zhao really wants a dedicated like healer support because his burst just drains his HP when you're in his burst uh, And that's where most of his damage comes from too. So He's a little awkward in that sense um, In the overworld of course I can rely on food uh, in, in the abyss he <laughs> will be very not useful probably um, it's, it's hard to imagine 36 starring abyss with only polearm characters, but I think it might be doable um yeah, so Zhao, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go for him, because uh, it, it's kind of a no-brainer with all the overworld things that need animo at this point, um, and, uh, and he'll be useful for things other than just uh, puzzle solving. So uh, hopefully we will win a fifty-fifty though, because uh, I think the update uh, for Zhao's rerun is going to be two weeks away at this point. Um, obviously, I'll get a lot of primos from overworld exploration. Uh, we'll get some from, you know, maintenance and whatever, um, but he, if, if I lose the 50-50 for him, I don't know if I'll have enough, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, Zhang Li, I mean, he's, he's a, he's a shield, shield bot. He'd, he'd be very good. Uh, of course he also would be Geo, which could be useful, but I think Zhang, uh, sorry, Yun Jin would function for GL puzzles in the overworld for the most part, so I don't think Zhang, uh, Zhang Li would be necessary for that. So really, he'd just be a useful, uh, you know, shieldy boy. Um, he would help with, you know, someone like Zhao. So, like, if I have a constant Zhang Li shield, it really doesn't matter if, if Zhao has, you know, 10% health for his entire existence. But anyways, um, Zhang Li will be useful. Who the heck knows when he's going to have a rerun, though? Wine tastes the same as I remember. Yes, thank you, Zhang Li. But where are those who share the memory? Not me. Uh, and then lastly, Raiden Shogun. Now, she's she seems like she'll probably be a no-brainer poll, right? She's one of the best support characters in the game at C0. But uh, I have one main problem with her. Um, and that's that while she uses a pole arm as her weapon, uh, she's almost entirely designed around using her burst. And she does this thing in her burst where she pulls a sword 
out of her, you know, her tits. And a sword is not a polearm. So, in my opinion, if we have Raiden Shogun, I can't use her burst. <laughs> which which would be the saddest Raiden Shogun ever. Um, but I think when the time comes, I would still need to try to pull for her on this account. Because there's a lot, a lot of electro puzzles in Inazuma. So, like, I, I, I honestly don't know how to do a lot of the exploration in Inazuma without having some kind of electro character. Um, exploration based, you know, objectives for, you know, getting chests and whatever. So, yeah, that's, that's what Raiden Shogun's gonna be if we get her. She's gonna be, she's gonna be a skill. <laughs> she's gonna use her skill and do normal attacks, <laughs> which is, that's all. Which is a super sad use of Raiden Shogun. But, she uses a sword when you use her burst, so I don't, I don't think it makes any sense to use her burst if if we get her. So yeah, uh, potential main DPS characters basically would be Zhao, not Raiden because you know burst can't use that. Uh, Zhao, Hu Tao. Um, so really, everything's kind of hedging on Zhao, and he's just, he's going to be awkward to use, but he'll at least be useful. Otherwise, um, Rosario would be perfectly fine as a as a suitable main DPS. Um, when it comes to main DPS, it's more you know, long term. It's more about artifacts and and whatnot. Um, but Jao would still be very useful if we ever have any hope of trying to clear uh, the higher floors of Opus. But that's kind of a it's a far off dream at this point. But yeah, we'll we'll go for Jao. Um, and my plan for next few videos. So I'm going to the next video is probably going to be at rank 20, uh, and I'll be trying to clear. Floors 1, 2, and 3, with uh, Rosario soloing uh, in the Abyss, Spiral Abyss. Um, I don't know how difficult that will be, but that's probably going to be that video, uh, so that we can get John Ling. And, yeah, after that, I don't know. <laughs> um, the The nature of these videos uh, is they're very time-consuming to, to make, because I basically just had to play the game a lot, and then I record whatever I encounter that seems worth recording. Um... I could, you know, live stream or whatever, but uh, right now it's just easier to just record as necessary. And yeah, that's I think all I have for this video. I do appreciate. It. I I I was very surprised. Um, the video seems to be getting a bit of attention. Um, episode one, at least, is getting a lot of attention. I appreciate all of you who have watched it. Uh, I did not expect so many people to watch it. Um, and I hope I hope it's still enjoyable content uh, that you will continue watching. So. Yeah, feel free to hang around if you like it. If you don't, then I don't know. Go do something else. You can probably do better things with your time than watch me play this game, but anyways. I hope it's entertaining. Bye bye.